Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Nicole here from my Pandora Charm Life. Today's video is going to be my recent haul that I did from Ohm Beads. So Ohm recently had a gift with purchase promotion where if you spent $125, you got this really awesome snow globe. So I am a huge fan of snow globes, but this is super special because it says Ohm Seattle and has some of the Seattle like points of interest included on here and then some little Ohm Beads specialties too. So I am going to show you my haul from Ohm Beads as well as a close-up look at the snow globe. Before we get into the charms that I picked from Ohm, I do want to talk about this precious, precious gift with purchase. If you spent $125, you got this awesome snow globe for free, so it's just so cute. And some of you may know I've spent 10 years living in Seattle, and I just absolutely love Seattle. It's my favorite, favorite city of all. If I picked any city to live in in the United States, that's what it would be. Um, but work has me elsewhere for now. And this is just so cute. You have a little sleigh up on top. In here, you have Santa Claus. You have a little jack-o'-lantern. You have a little gnome, and you have a little turkey. I believe these represent... Um, charms that Ohm actually has. You have a little Ohm symbol around here. Sugar Sleigh Ride 2018 on one side and then on the other it says Ohm Seattle. Then it has some of the landmarks that you'll find within Seattle. Uh, within the past few years we got our very own Ferris wheel that's on the pier. So they have the great wheel on here the Public Market Center, which is the symbol for Pike Place Market. And then when you go along um, what they call Pioneer Square, you'll see a lot of the totem poles. You have a totem pole in here. Uh, out of all the years that I've li lived in Seattle, I've never went to Dick's Hamburgers, but it is like pretty famous. A lot of people go there and they have that sign there. And then I just love this little spilled coffee mug. I think this represents, obviously, Starbucks. Starbucks started in Seattle, so I think it's a great representation of that. And then over here, you have this little naked person riding a bicycle. Now you're probably like, why is there a naked person riding a bicycle? Well, in an area called Fremont, they have a summer solstice where you can ride your bike clothes optional so that's what that represents and then of course the landmark of the space needle you have some other skyline buildings and then the sleigh is actually flying over mount rainier which on a nice day you can definitely catch a glimpse of mount rainier wherever you are in seattle so I needed this snow globe and how perfect. There's a couple of items that I've wanted from Ohm and since I got this free gift with purchase, I took advantage of it. Put that aside here while we go over the charms. Now, I just love these little boxes that Ohm has. I think in my last unboxing, it was a bigger box that had little sections for the charms, but this is what I'm used to. They're little individually wrapped um, I think it's recycled, it's reduced, reuse, recycled. This box is made of post-consumer recycled paper. So that's awesome, nice in the environment. And then they have a cute little pouch in here. So this charm that I got is the dragon charm. I should probably look up the actual name. Let's do that really quick. All right, this one is called Flying Dragon. He's pretty cute. He is wrapped around, you know, whatever you put on the bracelet, so he's gonna be wrapped around. You have his little face. I love his back where you could see like the spikes on his back. And then of course he's got little tiny wings on here as well. I just love the detail that Ohm puts into their beads. For the next one, we have... What's this one going to be? Oh, the castle. So I do have a couple of Pandora castles, and I just love castle charms. And I really wanted one from Ohm as well. I love, uh, again, I love the detail that they put into 
their charms and I thought the dragon matched the castle pretty well. So I guess I have a second castle to add to my collection. Um, I think the thing I like about this one is that it's more like, I don't know, it's more, it's more dark, I guess I want to say, rather than like cutesy. Like it just kind of reminds me of where you would find a dragon. So here's this castle. I don't even know how to explain why that's the way I feel about it. Um, maybe it's the the way the castle's made of brick. I don't know. This one just kind of reminds me more of the, I guess the best way I can describe it is the Beauty and the Beast castle before it turns back into the normal castle. And the final charm that I got, this is the one that's been on my wish list for a really long time. And this one is called Gnome, Gnome Home. So the gnome home is so cute. It's a little house. It's in a tree trunk. And I think this is so cute. It's great for like a forest theme bracelet or whatever it might be that needs a little house in the woods. I think the thing I love about this is it reminds me of, and it's not even a tree house, but when you're in line at Disneyland to ride the teacups, there's a little like cottage house and this just kind of reminds me of it and Presley likes to go and knock on the door. I'll insert a picture of what I'm talking about here. Um, but this is Gnome Home. Now, I often get asked from people, hey, how do own beads compare to Pandora? Um, I absolutely love own beads. I actually find that they don't um, oxidize as easily as Pandora charms do. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure why. The thing I do find with these charms is that they are, um, they are a little bit bigger. So watch, right here I have Santa's house as an example. Santa's house is one of Pandora's kind of bigger charms. So you can see how it compares to like Santa's house. So it's not like super gigantic, but they are on the bigger side. So if you like bigger charms, it's probably the way to go. If not, then, then maybe don't get them. So you can see all of them together. This is how they look. They're so cute. I have a few own beads that I still, oops, that I need to design with. Um, I do have one own bracelet. So maybe eventually someday we'll get a an overall review of that. This is my mini haul that allowed me to get this amazing snow globe. And again, stay tuned for some close-up pictures of these. Thank you for watching my small little haul. People often ask, like, do I only buy Pandora? Do I collect other beads? I definitely collect a small amount of other beads. I do it in moderation. My Pandora addiction is already out of control. I don't need to be that addicted to other brands too. But Ohm might be, oh, it's a toss up. They might be my second favorite. Um, I do love troll beads. Troll beads, especially with their glass beads, are phenomenal but um, I just love the, I just love the twist that Ohm Beads puts into their charms. And again, they originated in Seattle, it's so cool. And you guys all know how much I love Seattle by now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any Ohm Beads or have been interested in buying Ohm Beads, leave me a comment, I wanna know all about it. And then, um, of course, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell. That way you get notified anytime I post a new video or if I go live or if I'm going to premiere, whatever that might be. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time.